Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020. And here we are in the end of the season with the FC Eintracht Bamberg 2010 that we're trying to take to the top of the Bundesliga and beyond out in Europe. So far we are playing our first season here in Bayernliga Nord that you can get yourself if you check out my tutorial on how to install and update your FIFA Manager 13 or 14 game up to this season. Uh, so we have a player here asking about possible new signings for a defender for next season and uh, the reality is that I don't know if we'll be able to sign any player at all or that he will be able to stay in the club or that you can prolong his contract or anything at all uh, since we are so broke uh, it's uh, actually quite ridiculous as you see we are almost 1 million euro in uh, the negative balance but uh, yeah <laughs> will be will be hard to get around that and also in the last episode I counted it badly uh, and thought it was only like one game left or uh, two or something like that but it should be four games if I saw the the stats correctly so we'll see here maybe we'll do instant result for uh, this uh, this episode we have after all played with three matches all throughout the season so i think uh, that's quite likely that we will uh, do that just to get uh, through with this season and the struck here will say just how how's the family uh, which is a really boring thing to our players of course but uh, at the moment, as I said, I, I really don't know if I should get uh, too attached in any way whatsoever with the players that, that we actually have currently, as I don't know if we're able to keep them. Anyway, but we are playing now a match against Elter, Elterstorf as an away team. Our team rating is at 467 versus their 484. So should have a chance of a result here will probably be quite hard and uh, we'll just say give it your best here and we'll just run it here at full speed so unfortunately after 25 minutes we get a goal against us and another one in the 36th minute so the scoreline after one half is 0 to 2 for Eintracht Bamberg versus Eltersdorf and uh, let's see here halftime talks uh, let's say just play like we practiced in training so the shots were two to four shots on target zero versus three and chances two versus nine possession 40 versus 60 percent so definitely not having a great first half here uh, with the team so we'll uh, just continue here and let our assistant manager there try to get the players around and uh, not too much happening here in the second half running by quite fast and, and there it is all over so definitely playing the games pretty fast even though they are a little bit involved involved with the instant result so the final scoreline for Antracht Bamberg versus Eltersdorf is 0 to 2 and uh, let's see here the match stats in the end shots 2 to 6 Shots on target 0 versus 3 and chances 3 versus 8. So they actually got one chance less than they had after one half, I believe. Position 40 to 60 percent. So uh, when you're playing instant result, you can't totally depend on that. Uh, so with that match played, we are now dropped down one place to 13th in the league. And they were seven points clear of the rele relegation zone, but they have four matches left to play, and we only got three. Uh, so effectively, we are only like four points clear. So that is uh, definitely very slim. But hopefully, we can uh, make it good nonetheless. And sports dropping down there to 16 out of 20. So quite all right we don't have any real problem with the board at least so that's good and uh, maybe we can uh, 
be able to get some money from the board here for next season to turn things around or something like that. And speaking of turning things around or what I were starting to say that I got a tutorial, I also actually have a link in the description if you are interested in, uh, in the game and uh, you need to buy FIFA Manager 13. I have a link in the description where you can get it for cheap and I get a small percentage of uh, of uh, the purchase price really or a small yeah a small fee for recommending you the page really so if you want to do that feel free to do so uh, and let's see here get an offer for a personal contract so we'll ask for more money one time and then we'll just accept it and uh one way that uh, i always played fifa manager before was trying to get in as much money as possible to my manager and then pretty much giving it all away to the team I were managing. But realistically, I, that is not how you're going to be. If you're an actual manager, you need your salary, of course, and everything like that. So uh, that's why we are not really doing it here. Uh, and uh, say so to the captain that he's a good good leader I know I have no idea if he actually is that but uh, nonetheless we got to tell him some something in the list of the players that we don't talk to enough according to the game uh, I think we are doing that enough that's one of the biggest problems I have with the FIFA manager series actually versus football manager that you gotta talk with the player so much even though I have put it on the, the lowest possible setting you need to talk with at least one player per match to keep them in any sort of decent balance which is quite crazy according to me at least so this match we're playing at home versus DJK and our team rating 461 versus their 478 and actually this is the team that is closest uh, to us in the relegation zone so we actually need to win this game or at least have a draw here and uh, hopefully we can manage that it should be pretty even we are playing at home at least so that we have that in, uh, in advantage unfortunately very early here in this match DJK makes a goal so in the seventh minute they take the lead 0 to 1 and that's the scoreline after one half so shots actually 7 to 3 for Bamberg versus DJK Don and shots on target 3 versus 1 chances 10 versus 5 and position 53 versus 47 uh, so we'll say you can do better feels like we are just a little bit unlucky really in terms of the scoreline if we were looking on the chances and everything like that and we do manage to get in with a goal in the 61st minute and another one in the 72nd minute and a third one in the 80th minute so all secure and we managed to win the game 3-1 to one for Eintracht Bamberg versus K. Don Bach Bamberg so actually a uh, a real uh, real derby here to say for sure two teams from the same city in the, the lower leagues of Germany definitely an interesting match in that way actually quite exciting even though we were doing instant results it was still still uh, a little bit on the, on the throat so to say and it definitely felt the game in a way uh, even more so after the full-time scoreline after actually one seeing that it was another Bamberg team so anyway the scoreline 3 to 1 I said shots 12 to 5 shots on target 8 versus 2 chances 16 versus 5 and that possession 61 to 39 percent so we definitely deserved to win in that game uh, which is very nice and a good result and uh, that actually brings us up to 11th place in the league and now we are 10 points clear of the relegation zone so it should be clear for not getting relegated which is nice we have a good attendance they are second best in the league but still it's not not enough by uh, by anyway whatsoever since we are as said so 
much in the negative uh, in terms of cash. So scouting finished here, some uh, uh, training gain here and highest form gain for uh, Lucas Nagelmann, who we have been playing uh, a little bit in the first team, uh, I do believe. Actually, we can't really see the history here. Uh, this is not on a proper contract. Uh, let's see here. We have a few players that are confused by their contract status. And this player we are definitely not keeping any way whatsoever. So uh, that shouldn't be a worry uh, in that way. And definitely here for Amir Hauser, the same thing. Uh, I don't think we will be keeping any of our players in the second team that are running out of contract we can't afford that for sure at least uh, that, that much i'm sure of so pretty much securing i said uh, our place in the league for the next season and uh, the next match coming up is against a higher rated team and uh, Odenberg would like our left midfielder here on a free transfer and uh, yeah, I don't really want that, so we'll just say no to the transfer offer. Uh, since we are, uh, yeah, I, I guess we want to keep keep all the players that we possibly can here in the, the team. So here we have Bamberg versus SPVGG Bayernhof, and our team rating 462 versus their 468. And playing at home, so it should be a good chance here, but the SPV. GG have had a very good season and are, are actually fifth in the league, so will be tough to tackle them that way for sure. And uh, let's see here. I don't think we have uh, any real use putting up our left back, uh, our youth player, uh, for uh, this match, so we will not do that. And for Rotman here, let's see, he's in pretty good shape, so that's not anything we should say to him, and he's 32 years old. So, we'll again say the boring thing here, how's the family? Um, let's see here, we got another thing here that we got to do, and uh, that's reject another offer, this time for Bernhard Buff. And uh, yeah, can, as I said, I really have no clue what to do. I, I can't really sign any contracts. We will try that shortly though and see what happens. Uh, but for now, we'll play this match against SPV Bayernhof and we'll tell the lad to get stuck in. And unfortunately, a pretty bad start here with the SPV GG Bayern Hof taking the lead in the 12th minute and extending it two times here before the end of the first half. So the scoreline after one half is 0 to 3 for Bamberg versus SPV GG Bayern Hof. So definitely our players not getting up to the level that we would like them to play. And we'll say just played like we practiced in training here after that half. And shots were three to four, shots on target one to three, chances nine to seven actually, and position 45 to 55 percent. So, if that is true, we didn't really get any result whatsoever from the first half, like we should be getting. And uh, I guess that might be one of the reasons SPVGG is doing so good in the league, getting. Uh, getting goals on all the chances or something like that and they managed to get in even another goal here before the end of the game so the final scoreline is here to four for Eintracht Bamberg versus SPV Bayernhof and uh, shots four versus seven shots on target one versus five chances seven versus nine in the end and position 42 
50 to 60 percent so definitely got one or two chances less after it uh, full time than I had after one half or we had after one half and uh, something interesting here as well they have actually a higher team rating after the match than before it so better players on the bench than on the field when starting the game quite crazy so dropping down again to 13th place here and uh, definitely secured not getting relegated after that match so that's nice at least and uh, the board again dropping down in sports here uh, should be all right and uh, yeah anyway also if you are enjoying this series remember to smash that like button it's very very much appreciated and uh, yeah if you are wanting to see more or don't want to miss out on any of the episodes that we upload daily to the channel uh, do remember to hit that subscribe button and also if you want you can hit that small notification bell so you're extremely sure to not miss out and we have our top player there getting confused by the contract uh, status as well and we'll see note a lot of offers here for uh, Bernard Buff Actually, every single offer there were for Bernard Buff. And uh, let's see here. It's I think it's time now to try and tackle the, the uh, contract situation. So let's check that. Contracts, here we go. So, contracts, ending contract. So in the first team we have, uh, or is this the first team? Oh, this is actually all. No, experience in first team is all. So in reserves, we have end of contract. All right, so first team and reserves. Reserves, we don't really care about, as said. Uh, and we only want expiry, expiry in this season. And we'll take by level. And we have Ulbricht who are, uh, let's see here, let's look on uh, play development actually, yeah exactly, I think he have lost a lot of uh, points, skill points here throughout the season, so he uh, actually dropped two, three, four, five levels here, and uh, yeah, I don't really want to prolong his contract, even though he's our top player, and uh, for Salvach here, he have played 23 matches, so pretty much all our matches. But how is he doing in terms of here? He's getting a little bit worse, but could maybe manage one more season. So let's see here if we can get in an offer here on 100 per week or less. Uh, we want only one year. Suggestion, no, we'll do only one year, and you can get 90, and let's see here, Pervan, he's only played one match, so I don't think we will uh, looking to extend his contract, and uh, Röhl here, he's, uh, well, really really too old, no, he's 19, I, it looked, looked totally wrong, looked on uh, the skills level there and uh, not the age, so for Raul we definitely want to prolong his contract, and let's see here, a suggestion, don't really, do we want three years, yeah we can do three years actually, and no extra offers on our classes and we'll do let's do 70 just to, to try and secure his services uh, i think it's a good thing to do and here we do have attacking midfielder are we playing with attacking midfielder now we are not really playing with attacking midfielders so i 
kind of doubt how much uh, use we have of uh, those players, but uh, Florian here is definitely young at least, Florian Ratif. Um, and yeah, he can play central midfielder as well, uh, basic level 35, so could definitely be of use for us in the end, and yeah, had developed pretty nicely here throughout the season. So I think we should uh, extend his contract. Uh, we'll give a suggestion here. And uh, yeah, we'll do this offer. I think that will work out fine. And uh, let's see here. Christian Vendel, not really. Not really what we need in any position or a development. Uh, we have, of course, many more players like that. But a goalkeeper here that's 19 years old uh, might be if he's developed decently, which he hasn't. He actually have only stayed the same. Same level. Skin points are actually quite a bit up in the end though. Uh, so let's see here actually if we can't get in uh, in an offer here. Uh, we'll do two years maybe. Or will we do one year? We'll do two years at 20, 20 euros per week. Or uh, is it per month? I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this stage. But I do believe it's per week. So all the rest of the players pretty old actually are not developing as at the pace that we would like. So I think that should be all right for now. And uh, we'll see if we actually get in a few of these contracts. Uh, if we do, I guess there, there, there is a possibility for us to, to come around this. All right, so we have a club here that wants to play one of our key players. And yeah, I'm not really that interested to sell our uh, central defender here. Who have improved one level or two actually overall throughout this season. If I read things cor correctly. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to talk about that. And... Uh, yeah, we will not listen to an offer for buff. Alright, so licensing procedure, we can't uh, have bigger transfer uh, expenditure that we have transfer income. So we can't really try to sign any player for any money. It needs to be a free transfer and uh, yeah, it's not really free transfers. We would like to to uh, to get, so to say. And apparently, Alexander Roll and Stefan Roll are brothers, so that's pretty nice. And all the contracts there got accepted, so that's pretty good. So that should secure services for us being able to play for one more season at least. And uh, time for the last match of the season, I believe. Bamberg versus Würzburger. Uh, we'll play as an away team. And our team rating 456 versus their 472 at the moment. And I will ask a lineup assistant to do that. Or our assistant to do the lineup. And let's see here. We'll talk with Pervon. Um, won't say how's the family so yet again another really boring talk there but uh, that's how we're going to do it for these matches so let's go on here 
and we'll say get out there and keep it simple for this match taking the lead here in the third minutes which is very nice not too often and extending the lead two times there while i were saying that center session is so now we are up to three to zero here after one half against a Würzburger. And uh, let's say this is just how we imagine this. Shots is four versus four. Shots on target three versus two. Chances five versus nine actually. And possession 53 versus 47. So this time around we are lucky if we're looking at the, the numbers. Uh, quite the opposite of what we were in the last match. And a lot of goals here in this match actually one goal for each team here in the second half so far and, and that's the final result so the final scoreline for Eintracht Bamberg is four versus one for Würzburger and let's see here shots five versus eight shots on target four versus five chances six versus five in the end and possession 53 for versus 47 percent and that were the last match of the league for us and actually the only league in the team that uh, had that the last match day there but we are 17 teams in the league so that's a little bit odd to say the least but for the moment we are up to 12th place uh, being 13 points clear or so in the end from the relegation zone but uh, also 30 or 34 points at least up to uh, a possible promotion so got to do it a lot better uh, than uh, we are doing it at the moment if we have to have any chance getting out of the league that we are in in the moment so to say so we'll continue here a little bit and we'll see how things go. Uh, so guys, what do you think of this series and also what do you think of the game? I, myself, I know that I've loved the EA series, FIFA, uh, FIFA Manager, and before that, uh, uh, I don't know, I actually don't know, <laughs> remember what it was called at this moment uh, when I was saying this, but I really loved the series and played that a lot more than Football Manager, just because it were quite a lot faster to play, really. And uh, a little bit, well, different and neater uh, uh, and more modern design and everything like that. And you could do more of the things that I like in the game versus Football Manager. Uh, this part is actually not something that I'm extremely fond of, but... Uh, uh, because I think it's a little bit unrealistic of sorts, uh, getting national teams offers when you're such a low-level manager and always for each campaign, so to say, you always get uh, offers and it's only throughout the campaign. It's not really what I like per se, but uh, it's, all, it's all right. So for this time, we only got one offer. So we'll negotiate for a higher basic salary here, uh, but I am afraid to do more than that. So we'll sign the contract as that, and that will give us quite a lot of extra personal cash, actually. And uh, that would be a chance to build some cash back into the club. But as I said before in uh, this episode, uh, that's not really how I want to play it, since that's not really realistic. And one sponsor would like to prolong the contract, so we'll see if we can't do that and try that right now. Uh, so we'll do increase some here. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll sign it here for three years. And apparently we found a new partner in our private life, so that's all right, and that is... Also a part that I'm not super fond of, but it's quite fun that you actually can play around with it, sort of like The Sims, I guess, uh, to look for a spouse or not, and uh, have children and everything, and you can have children in your club in the end. That is a nice feature, though. And this football ranking and uh, developing uh, and everything like this for goalkeepers and Defenders and so on is very nice, and all these small details that are coming up 
I like very much and uh, this I also kind of like the ups and downs even though in the end almost always is uh, very bad uh, at least for the old players or players not really performing uh, but for young players it can be really great actually and can help develop a lot which uh, we have a little bit here from a roll for example Stefan roll that is we have actually for Alexander roll a bit as well Unfortunately, very bad for Marcel Lang, actually the worst uh, level improvement or loss rather for us uh, from level 44 to 42. Stefan Rall up one level and in total our team lost nine levels, so that's not really good. And uh, our guess at the start due to, well, I guess at the start of the season, based on team ratings, we ended up uh, 66 positions away from the final table and uh, an average of 3.9 possessions wrong on each team, which I think is actually a pretty good result uh, with the, the guess, so to say. So we'll continue here a bit, and uh, I think we should or we will need to take a look here shortly on our youth players if we are in the players that we want to sign sign for uh, the first team for the next season. And I do know that we have at least one player that we want to do that with and that is of course our left back that we have played in uh, in uh, in uh, the first team quite a bit and actually Matthias Paul ending up being the top goal scorer in the league so we actually take home a one trophy at the end of the match or the season at least so that's pretty nice and our fans are actually almost taking this uh, uh, duel versus Jans And some relegation drama here, apparently. For Bundesliga 1 to 2 and Bundesliga, second Bundesliga to third Liga. And uh, we actually got an offer in terms of a bit of money here for Idonis. Uh, but we'll definitely. Definitely um, dismissed that as well. Uh, I think we got an offer for him a few months ago, actually, and we dismissed that 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 time also. Yeah, we'll dismiss here for Idonis, and we'll see here. Change transfer status. Uh, on the set, yeah, we definitely getting. He's not transfer demanding that. We are demanding a lot more. Let's say 4.5k. That should end the offers a bit, at least, hopefully. Uh, Anum is out for nine days there as well. And uh, I think we'll end this episode here very soon. But first, uh, let's take care of the youth team here so we'll sign all the players that needs to be signed uh, so let's sort here by level then uh, all these uh, players with the, this this icon have uh, their last season in the youth team so Nagelsmann that's my player that we are going to to get or to sign it's actually increased only 87 levels there in uh, total, which is not really uh, how we want it to be. And let's see here, basic salary. I think this is per month or for a whole, whole year. Or is this per, yeah, 250 is the lowest we can give. Let's try 250, I guess. Yeah, and this the board will not allow this this offer, and we actually can't go 
low enough. And that means we can't get any of our G players out in our club. And we can't sell them and we can't get in any money that way. And which really is going to, well, destroy us, I guess, in the end. So let's negotiate for a little bit more money here from the bank and sign it. And uh, that will be everything for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time, basically, I guess. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye. You have been watching Rolls Glow Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.